In 1951, a black woman called Henrietta Lacks was treated for cervical cancer at John Hopkins. And did you know that doctors took her cells without consent, no permission, no payment, those same cells known as HeLa became the backbone of modern medicine, used in cancer research, IVF, and even the science that led to the HPV vaccine. And that's where things get layered, right? Because across Africa, from Kenya to Ghana to Nigeria, HPV vaccination programs are now being rolled out through school and national immunization plans. Public health leaders are excited, right? Calling it progress. But many parents are asking a really fair question, right? And that question is, who gets to decide what progress looks like? Because while the science may save lives, the system still raises questions, right? The global HPV vaccine market is now worth nearly $5 billion, led by Merck in the US, GSK in the UK, and the Serum Institute of India. Each dose can cost over $150 in the West, but less than five in Africa through the Gavi and WHO subsidy partnerships. And like most medical breakthroughs, the biggest profits still flow north, not to the communities whose bodies first made the research possible. And that's the business lesson here, right? Innovation without equity becomes, what? Something we're all too familiar with hearing, extraction. When value is created from one body and capitalized in another, is that progress or profit? It's a reminder that invention means little if ownership doesn't follow. So when the same systems that once took from black bodies now profit from protecting them, it's definitely fair to pause, isn't it? We've seen what happens when decisions are made about us, not with us, not to reject science, but honestly, to demand fairness, consent and accountability. And actually, if I think about it, maybe the lesson here is that progress without consent isn't justice, it's repetition. Science without accountability creates ghosts. Healing without listening creates harm. We can want health and still ask hard questions about power because protection without participation it's just another kind of control. This is day 17 of my Black History Month series. We can't keep complaining that our stories aren't told enough. If what? If we aren't the ones telling them. Anyway, don't just scroll. Make sure that you're playing a role in sharing these posts. Repost, drop it in your group chats and teach it to your kids. It's not always a they thing. Sometimes it's an us thing. Anyway, let's talk in the comment section. Should vaccines like this ever be mandatory or does protection lose its power when we take away?